issue of snail farming is is very interesting. Yes. Uh, to very many people, although very many people also have what we call snail phobia, so they they hear of the snails and they are like they want to freak out. So the first thing is I have to clarify. Mm. Uh, if you look at, for example, this, this is what is called a snail. Mm -hmm. But most people, the moment you, you mention snail, mm -hmm. they always think of that slug, mm -hmm. right? the one that doesn't have a shell. Mm -hmm. So that one is not a snail. That one is a slug. So this is uh, the snail. So this type of snail is called giant African land snail. So now the, it's daytime, they are, they are not active, so they are kind of uh, sleeping. Mm. If you come at night, you find them crawling, crawling all, all over here. Mm. So this is what is called a snail in the first place. So snail farming is, um, is um, it's a normal kind of farming that uh, is done in other parts of the world. Mm. But in Kenya, it's, it's a new thing to most farmers because snail has not been in our culture. As a, as, as, as a kind of farming or as food. But now because people are changing their eating habits to safer eating habits, mm -hmm. people are trying to look for alternative sources of um, certain types of nutrients. So that is where protein provides uh, uh, proteins. Snails provide proteins. Mm -hmm. They provide vitamins. They are low in fats. And they also have some, um, they, they, they restore the skin. So they have slime, mm. you know these ones. Yes, these ones are these ones are slime mm -hmm. that is used in the by the cosmetic industry to make uh, cosmetics that are able to restore the skin. Mm -hmm. So starting snail farming is very simple, as mm -hmm. you can see. This is a very small place inside here. Mm -hmm. This is uh, two meter by two meter. Mm -hmm. We have three hundred snails inside here, and this is something. For example, even if you have a spare room somewhere, they say even. Even under the stairs, if you have, mm. is enough to hold more than more than this, for example. Mm. And um, so it's something that doesn't require much space. Mm -hmm. uh, it's something to, easy to maintain. Even mm. a child can maintain this because mm. what you have to do is just keep on feeding them most of the time. Mm. And there are things that are silent, even if you put them in your house. <laughs> <laughs> There's no noise, There's you know, all this kind of thing. Mm, unlike Chick chicken. Yeah. Unlike chicken uh, yes. or even crickets, yes. a lot of noise. Yes. But this is just silent, it's mm. peaceful. Yeah. And in fact, some people some people keep them as pets. Yes. Pets. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, just, just, just love watching them or doing things like that. Mm. So this is something that a farmer can easily do in an urban setup. And it is a high value kind of farming because a kg of snail goes between 1,000 to 2,500. It depends with the type, who you sell to, mm -hmm. but it, it's just within that range. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this is a common question that most people ask mm -hmm. and uh, we've come up with three packages that are good for somebody who wants to start the, the, the snail farming. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If you're just starting like very small, mm -hmm. You need to start with uh, like let's say 15 kgs of snails. Mm. Uh, that 15 kgs of snails. Those are how many snails? Um, normally, the snails can either be sold to you. Mm -hmm. If you are buying, for example, the the ones to rare, mm -hmm. they are smaller. They are this size or smaller. Mm. But there is a secret we normally tell farmers. Mm -hmm. It is advisable mm. you buy a mature snail mm. so that uh, it takes the shortest time to, when they start hatching and you can now start having a, a bigger number mm. than this. You'll have to wait for maybe six months, mm. seven months before mm. they start uh, laying eggs. Mm. So normally, the like any other thing, like fish, they will give you fingerlings. Mm. So the, 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 the small ones are always given. If they're small like this, a kg would do around 20. Mm -hmm. 20 of them. 20 of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. 20, 25 mm -hmm. on the higher side if mm -hmm. they are a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. If they're big, mm -hmm. a kg is 8. So which are those big? This is medium. Mm -hmm. uh, this is medium. Even this is medium. The bigger one is like... Those ones combined, the two combined. Yeah. Even bigger than the two combined. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that one can be how many? You said that So th that one can be like eight, one mm. kg. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, so that one is how much? 
Uh, a kg, it will also depend with where you buy. Mm-hmm. 1,000, mm. 2,500. Mm. But there are other sources where you can also get your sneakers at even cheaper price. Okay. Uh, the materials for making this mm. will depend. Mm-hmm. There are so many, there are like three types of structures you can do. Yeah. There's what we call intensive uh, system that is doing indoor extensive that is doing outdoor mm. and the semi the semi extensive so that is where you do part of it indoor part of it outdoor but indoor again there the, the, there is flexibility on what you can use like here we just decided to 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 knock this two by two meters to hold the 300 mm. but then when for example now we are done we will remove this mm. and put like 3,000 in this room, mm-hmm. and then what we do is just the room is completely sealed. Mm-hmm. So they can just walk wherever. So it will depend with the kind of structure you, you have used. Mm-hmm. So for something like this, mm-hmm. I think um, around 5,000 mm-hmm. for a two by two mm-hmm. is enough. Okay. Yeah. The feeds, uh, snails are vegetarians. Mm-hmm. They eat it on three types of vegetables. Yes. Leaves mm-hmm. and fruits. They also feed on other things like algae, fungi. This thing is an enemy to mushrooms. They will eat the mushrooms. Mm-hmm. But majorly fruits, vegetables, and leaves. The common, common, common type of pets are things like um, rats, mm-hmm. rodents. Mm-hmm. Uh, reptiles like snakes, mm-hmm. these are also a challenge mm-hmm. to them. Mm-hmm. Then uh, there is hygiene mm-hmm. that uh, poor hygiene causes uh, bacteria and fungal infection mm-hmm. to them. So, for example, um, uh, the soil that we're using here mm-hmm. is it's a bit kind of special soil, mm-hmm. but this soil has to be sterilized before putting it here because this is where they hide this is where they lay eggs mm. and if the soil is infested mm. then it affects them mm. so what you will find is uh, for example when 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 the soil has some bacteria or what it will get to their skin mm-hmm. and then you will just find uh, this snail uh, you will only find the shell and then the snail is out of the shell so when this snail, hygiene is also maintained uh, when you're putting the feeds inside here uh, one way is to watch them and then put them there to prevent any contamination that can happen. Sterilization of the, of the, so of the soil. Yeah. Do, can you do it maybe yourself as a farmer, maybe by heating it or something? Yeah, maybe it's, it's by heating. You have a dry put mm-hmm. it and heat, mm-hmm. or you have an iron, maybe mabati or whatever, mm-hmm. and you spread it on top and heat. Mm-hmm. Then you put it. Mm-hmm. Just that. Mm-hmm. smaller ones yeah. it will take you six months okay. to 16 months to start harvesting to start harvesting within six months mm-hmm. they are now mature enough they can be eaten by them but you know according to the size and all that mm. you can go even up to 16 months okay. in this oh. but if you buy the big ones mm. it will take a month or so mm-hmm. to start laying eggs mm-hmm. and uh, each Normally lays between eighty to hundred eggs yeah. every 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 month. Eh? Oh. Every two months. Every two months. So in a year one can lay four eighty to six hundred eggs. Oh. so multiplication can be Yeah, so multiplication can be done. And then another thing mm-hmm. is uh, I don't know whether there's a snail that is awake here, mm-hmm. but I will just try to find out. Eh? Mm-hmm. Or oh, let's just try to wait one eh? so oh, normally the, the snails mm. when they're sleeping they get inside when they feel unsafe they also get inside mm. and if you like they sense danger mm. then they excrete the, this mucus mm. and that mucus intimidates a lot of predators and all that mm. and leaves so for example now if, uh, if for example i try to intimidate it you will hear what it will do you see mm. But now, so this is the, this is the, the slime, eh? mm. yeah. 
but when it when it gets you'll see there are those two antennas yeah? mm -hmm. so those two antennas mm -hmm. one is male one is female mm -hmm. that is how one snail just made lay eggs oh so you even if you have one you more. will have many from one <laughs> there are I'm more products here <laughs> Yeah, I, I know market is a big thing most people are asking about. Mm. The most funny thing is there is market. Mm. There are those who love these things, mm. but there are those who don't know about these things. So when they think of it, they are like, do even people eat these things? Mm. So uh, like um, for us, we already have market with uh, mostly West Africans mm -hmm. and some Chinese. Mm. So this is something like in West Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, it's it's a common thing. It, it, it's it's a common kind of delicacy and all that. Mm -hmm. There's something called escargot. Mm -hmm. They they do. Mm -hmm. So when these people go to other places, like they come to Kenya, mm -hmm. they are not able to enjoy these kind of things anymore. So they do what Romans do in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So when now they start realizing that there are things like this, mm -hmm. then they are like, ah, now we can now at least enjoy this again here. Mm -hmm. So. That market is not that big, mm. but there is market, mm. and the market is also growing like any other thing. Mm. Just the awareness go, grows, and it also grows. Mm. Like even now, Kenyans are now eating eating snails, mm. which was something out of even thought. Mm. But now we have some people. Somebody says, "Yeah, maybe two kgs every week. I need one kg." Mm. Yeah. So the more that kind of awareness is also getting outside there mm. the more the market is also also opening up okay. so we are now starting off mm. we have market for ourselves mm -hmm. but we are also trying to cultivate bigger market mm. and work with some farmers mm -hmm. a certain number of farmers let's say 50 farmers in the start mm. on how to grow a contract mm. that they will be producing mm -hmm. and we'll be giving them the market and then as it grows we also add more to, to that kind of system. Right.